hello friends uh, hope you all are doing well and uh, today we are going to discuss about dfs in a graph using recursion okay so in our other video uh, we have talked about the dfs dfs um, in a graph using a stack okay and today we are going to see how we can do the DFS using recursion. Okay, so first uh, let's understand what the DFS is. So DFS is an algorithm for traversing or searching a tree or graph data structure. One is starts from the root, selecting some arbitrary node as root in case of graph. Okay, so we can start from any vertex and explores as far as possible along each branch before backtracking okay so what it means so let's say if we are starting from zero right so from zero we can go to one and we can go to two okay so let's say we choose this path and we reach to one okay so in dfs once we reach to one we'll move forward and go to the next node which we can traverse from one rather than traversing two from zero we'll pick a path and go as deep as possible so from zero we we go to one one we go to three three we go to five and f sorry three we go to four and four we go to five and now from five we cannot go anywhere right so we'll backtrack so we'll backtrack to four backtrack to three and see if any node we can traverse from three no backtrack to one and see if any node can be traversed uh, from one so that is two so now cover that path okay and then from two we cannot go anywhere else we can we can go to three but that is already visited uh, we'll keep track keep track of uh, visited uh, nodes uh, that we'll discuss uh, in a bit but from 2 we can go to 3 that is already visited and so we'll backtrack again to 1 and so from 1 we cannot go anywhere else that is vis this is visited this is visited so we'll backtrack to 0 and from 0 um, this is already visited and we can go to two but that is already visited from node one so we are done with the dfs so, okay so pick a path go as deep as possible so we could have chosen this path so from zero we can go to two from two we can go to three from three we can go to four four to five and then backtrack okay so <coughs> both are fine there can be multiple uh, dfs uh, starting from from a node okay so let's go to our uh, blackboard and uh, see how we can uh, solve this using recursion so this this one example um, slightly different um, than what we have just seen I have added a node 6 here uh, which we can traverse from 2 okay so we'll create a recursive function let's call that function as dfs and we'll pass first parameter well we'll say the starting node okay the start node so initially we'll start from zero so we'll pass zero okay and we'll keep track of uh, visited node using a, a boolean array we can call it as visited so visited okay so we'll start from zero so this is our boolean array so this we have uh, seven nodes so one two three four five 
six so zero one two three four five six so we have visited zero so that is true and once we um, mark start node as visited okay then um, mm, yeah so then traverse all the neighbor node neighbor nodes from start node okay so start node mark this node as visited and then traverse all the neighbor nodes from the start node so how you will traverse we'll make a recursive call so let's see if you're starting from zero right let's say we can from zero we can go to two as well so let's say we are starting from zero so from zero we can go to one so we make a recursive call right and visit it now in recursion when um, this function is called we have passed one so we'll mark the node one as visited right and uh, traverse all the neighbor nodes from the start node now now this is one so from one we can go to two and we we can go to three okay so let's say we'll pass two right make a recursive call now this is start node is two so mark two as visited so we'll we'll print as well so zero one two okay so mark two as visited so two is visited we have marked so this is true this is true and um, make a recursive call to all the nodes which you can traverse from two right so from two we can only traverse to six so we'll pass six now so we'll pass six okay and then uh, we'll come here mark, mark the node six as visited print six so from six we cannot go anywhere so we'll backtrack so we'll backtrack to two and from two can we go anywhere no so we'll again backtrack and we'll backtrack to one here from one we can go to three so make a recursive call to three and uh, mark three as visited print three and then um, from three we can go to four make a recursive call to four mark four as visited mark four as visited travels all the node from uh, you can traverse from four so from four we can go to two but two is already visited okay so two we already visited so we'll not visit again week four we can go to one but one is also visited so we'll not visit again from here then from four we can go to five five is not visited so make a recursive call to five so here and then five mark five node as visited and then oh yeah we didn't print four and then five so this is the dfs okay so let's go back to the uh, our article so let's read the approach maintain a visited array to keep track of already visited vertices to avoid loops start from the source vertex make a recursive call to all the vertices okay make the recursive call to all the vertices which we can be visited from the source and in recursive call these vertices will act as a source right so from zero we started and then we made a recursive call to one so one becomes the source and then when we make a recursive call the three becomes the source okay so let's see the code um this is a graph class number of vertices adjacency list so here we are using 
uh, adjacency list not adjacency array um, we have discussed about the um, advantages of using adjacency list over a matrix uh, in a separate video uh, i'll leave the link in the description please go through the video uh, if you if you want to yeah so this is a, a graph constructor the vertices and for each vertex we'll have a linked list and in add edge from source to destination so from one to two we'll add an edge so basically in the source linked list right we'll add the destination node okay yeah so this is the dfs so dfs recursion we pass the starting vertex so in our example we started from zero and uh, uh, take a visited uh, um, boolean array to keep track of nodes which are um, which are uh, which are visited already and then call this function so this is our recursive function okay so we take the starting node okay and the visited array so first thing we'll do is mark this node start node as visited okay print that visit all the neighbors so how we are visiting this is a, a linked list so we are traversing the <coughs> linked list from the source so initially our source is zero so we are traversing all the uh, nodes in the uh, zero linked list linked list where the source is uh, zero okay so we'll visit so this is our destination right and if it is not already visited so that's why we will we were using these uh, 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 this visited array so if it is not already visited make a recursive call okay make a recursive call and now the destination will become the start in the recursive call so from zero we went to one and make a recursive call to one so once this is called one becomes a start so now we want to explore the nodes we can go from one so that's why it becomes a start okay so yeah pretty simple uh, clean straightforward code for uh, dfs uh, we can uh, let's let's run this code and uh, let's run this so zero zero two three four five one okay so let's say there is an edge between two and six as from our example so let's add an edge between two and six now let's run this code oh we need to increase the number of vertices i have introduced a new vertex six so number of vertices uh, should be seven okay so this is the same as uh, the example which we just saw in our um, blackboard zero two six three four five one okay so here um, oh no that graph is different so here we went from zero one two six three four five so this is also also correct so zero two six three four five one so this is also correct and let's go back to our problem so yeah this is how we'll do the dfs using recursion in a graph and we can mark this problem as completed and please visit our website tutorialhorizon.com for uh, more interesting uh, interview problems and uh, we'll see you guys in the uh, next video bye bye